So I'm gonna go live sometime this week and I'm gonna talk about alpha investments as I normally do. It's been, I guess a few weeks without discussion about him and his recent video topics. Uh, honestly, he's been kind of boring as of late, uh, but now he has an interesting topic I really wanna give you some feedback on. He says, full-blown panic, stores dump at heavy losses. Uh, I think he's referencing, I haven't watched the video, we'll watch the video together, but I'm pretty sure he's referencing Magic the Gathering cards. Uh, as I've said, this does not mathematically make sense. Even a kindergarten, no, maybe not kindergarten, maybe a fifth grader with the math skills of a fifth grader can understand what I'm gonna say next. I buy distributors sell a set booster pop box at $93. They sell a, a draft booster box at $90, 90, 93. So anytime somebody sells for less than 90, 93, they are selling at a loss unless they are getting their boxes cheaper than my, my distributor. Now, maybe distributors have a sale, maybe distributors are trying to move product and to, again, they're just like store, they're like a big store. Who knows? But, okay, here, here's a but, and the but's coming here. That doesn't help me. I do not care if you're getting a box at 80 or 82, I can only get a box at 90, 93 for my distributor for Magic. If that box, if I cannot sell that box for $100, there is no way I can, even with no employees, I can make overhead. Let me repeat that again. So if I buy a box for 90, I have to at least sell it for 100 to cover overhead. Overhead would be rent. If you have rent, even if you are online store, you have overhead, you have your website, you have your social media, you might, I mean, again, you have to pay yourself. You can't just, you know, starve to death, right? And then no one would operate the cards, right? Like it's, Oh, okay, back to um, the reason I'm making this video. I think he has a point in the title at least. I'm assuming that the title was not a funny title that then you watch the video and he says, oh, everyone's doing really well. Because that would be, uh, that would be, woof, that would be a lot. Uh, that would be a lot for me to, <laughs> to unpack. So uh, what's happening here is Amazon con continuously sells for less than the distribution price. Um, and Amazon is not the only one. There are many people like Sports and More. There's many distributors acting as, obviously the distributor sells to me at 90 because they're buying in less than 90, right? This should be obvious. Now, I don't know what their buy-in is, but let's assume their buy-in is 75. So the distributor can actually sell at 80 or 85 and at a larger volume and make more money and then let all the game stores die, and then they can sell direct to consumer. The problem for the distributor is Wizards of the Coast also sells direct to consumer via secret layers, and uh, they used to have these mythic planeswalker packs, which actually had booster boxes in them. Uh, I think they also sell like mystery convention things with booster boxes, so it's not beyond the realm of possibility that in the future, I mean, they're selling whole commander decks now like entire commander decks of 100 cards for $150. So it, is it inconceivable in the future that you would either be buying from Amazon, which is represented by Wizard of the Coast, or buying from Wizard of the Coast directly via some type of secret lair? No. No. There is, if this continues, and this has continued for many years, and there's no there's no sign that something's gonna change, there's no sign that um, they're going to like do better, there, there's no positive signs right now. Okay, so there's zero positivity in in the uh, hobby. And I know because I'm part of a group and everyone's dropping magic. If there are no margins and you're losing customers who pay $100 a box, $100 a box, I mean, on $93, $7 profit, my dudes. I mean, electricity like um i'll take uh, i'll take my electricity bill okay uh so let me try to go i'm trying to rewind back when i was running the store it was like uh i was trying to remote my memory um probably 200 250 in texas a month during summer times 
uh, gas, uh, we don't have electric, electricity, 250 to maybe 300 um, on the really, really warm months. It's gonna be over 300. Electricity is expensive. Uh, and that does not include the water, uh, the cable. Uh, the, you know, it's really interesting. They're always like, oh, business cable. And business cable is just like regular cable, but more expensive. <laughs> when they put a business in front of the service, like business internet, it's just like regular internet speeds, but more expensive. Because it's on a uh, business property. If you're buying at 90, and somebody's selling at 80 or 72 a box, which they do sell on uh, Amazon all the time. I mean, it's mathematically impossible for you to still be in business. Like I did the calculations. I love opening packs and stuff. And I found that it's actually cheaper to open packs from Amazon than to continue to buy packs from a distributor and open them myself to enjoy. Like, my dudes, this is something that like I can tell you is just, it's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. And then the other thing people say, oh, well, you have these old boxes, don't worry, they're just being stored and one day there'll be a ton. RTR was selling on Steel City for about $100 a box. That box is, I think, 10 years old. Maybe, yeah, I think it's about 10 years old, if I had to take a guess. It has five Shocklands, it has Death Rite Shaman, at the time considered one of the strongest cards. I mean, it's a card so strong, it was like a one mana Planeswalker, that's what a lot of people compared it to at the time. Jace AOT, which is not a bad card. It had Sphinx's Revelation, Chromatic Lantern, it had Psychonic Rift. So you're talking about EDH gold, you're talking about power gold, you're talking about land, really good real estate, and a set that's 10 years old, and it's, back 10 years ago, you paid $100 for the box. Today, they want $100 per box. That box didn't go up in price, you dumbasses. You lost a shit ton of money from inflation, because $100 10 years ago could have got you way more. You could have probably bought 10 lobsters for $100 back in the day. Today, you, you'd be lucky to get two of the same size lobsters. I know, because I eat lobster. I mean, $100 10 years ago, my God, it would go so far. $100 10 years ago, you'd probably get like a, maybe maybe like one of the lesser dual lands or something. Uh, uh. It's just a migraine thinking about it because like the people investing in sealed boxes, all I need to tell you is RTR is on sale for a hundred bucks. Why don't you go and invest now? If you thought it was such a great deal 10 years ago, with today's inflation, I mean, you must think it's a steal right now at a hundred, 110. I think it's a hundred a case. If you buy a case of it, they sell it to you for 600, but then individual is like 105, 110. And that's a big, they have unlimited supply. You're not going to be able to buy them out. I know for a fact. Anyway, guys.